Welcome back to Wellverse Creations. What I'm doing here is creating a lace pocket and I'm going to leave a little bit of lace hanging out the end of the page because that'll look really pretty in our journal. Then I'm just going to use some um, hot glue to secure this and then I'm just kind of tapping that into place since the hot glue can go through the lace. Now I'm just bunching the top part of the lace and securing it on the sides with more hot glue and I'm leaving the center open so that I can put some tags or other pieces of ephemera in this pocket. Remember this cute little safety pin dangle we made in a previous video? Well, it's finally getting its home here on this lace pocket. And these large blanket safety pins you can find on Amazon if you've been looking for those. That looks really nice. I really like how that turned out. And I think it goes really well with the lace. I think I'm going to embellish this and put some of these really fun ephemera pieces that are from the kit that I got off Etsy that I think just looks really good with the nativity. I am just going to put a little dab of glue to kind of hold this together because I just want it kind of flat so that it goes in this little vellum envelope but has a little touch of class. Okay, so here's our two pieces that are going to go in. And then I want this to look like, look like it's sealed with a wax seal, but I also want to be able to open and close it. So I'm going to make a wax seal on this little, this is a coaster, little um, silicone coaster I got off of Amazon. And that enables me to put either... Um, Either I don't have to put anything or I can put like a little piece of Velcro under part of the seal. I'll show you once I get it made. Okay, so here's this with its fun little topping there. And then I'm just going to use tear tape here to seal this. This is super skinny and I get this on Amazon. There is two-sided tear tape at the dollar store but you would have to cut it to make it this skinny. So I got this roll a number of years ago. It lasts forever. Because I only use the ultra skinny where I need it. Just to make it last longer. Because before that, I was trying to cut it. And it was a little bit difficult to do, time consuming, so. You just go ahead and keep turning then you don't get as much on the underside and I just let it sit for just a little bit so that it doesn't turn out so flat because the wax is so hot that it squishes down more if that makes any sense and I've said this in a previous video they do have molds that you can buy and you would just pour your wax into it and then put your uh, seal stamp in it. But I like kind of an irregular look to mine. But if you prefer a very um, well-formed edge, then <clears throat> they, I've seen them on um, Amazon. I get these little um, Velcro dots at the dollar store. And I just put them together and then cut them in half because I don't want a whole one on, on this. I'll show you why. Oh, that turned out so cute. So I want to put it on up here and have it open and close on this half. 
so I only need a half one. Oh, that's really cute. Um, and then on the upper part, hmm. So I think on this upper part, I have done it with hot glue. The problem is, it obviously can melt the seal. Get these out of here so we don't have any issues there. So I'm gonna be super fast when I put it on. because there's just not a lot that really sticks to vellum. So this is kind of a tricky thing to do, really. Might not be the best idea, but we'll just see. But see how the seal is a little bit thicker because I let it cool so it didn't squish down as far and make it flatten out. So then if I use hot glue, it's less likely to melt clear through the seal. I have used hot glue on a seal that was too thin and it burned a hole in it so that's why I'm sharing that with you so you don't ruin it if you do something to a wax seal though just know you can just pop it back in there and remelt it so you get do-overs <laughs> then I'm just gonna cut this in half Just kind of keep it together. I take off the clear sticky part and they, these are super sticky so this should work great for vellum. I'm gonna stick that on there and then I'm leaving it velcroed together and that just guides it so that I don't have to try and match it up. So now this little pouch can be opened with the velcro. And then once it's opened and closed a few times, and I usually just kind of bend this a little bit, and I don't push it super hard, then it's easier to open and close. Because a wax seal isn't like a button. I mean, you could crack it. So you just have to be kind of gentle with it. See, now it's opening and closing a lot easier, as you can see. So I think that's really pretty. And I left this lace kind of hanging off the end so that when I put it in the book, you can see that this page came out of here. And I can just, I'm gonna take this out while I do it. I can just lift up the string and feed it right back through here. And you don't necessarily have to take them out to work on them, but it is kind of nice, and it's a little easier. Because this uh, center of this part of the book is finished so there we go now I'm going to put a little bit of trim on the edge of this page and I buy these little plastic cutting boards at the dollar store and I just use them for craft stuff because they're perfect and this will keep glue from getting on the other pages So when I strung these beads, I made a little loop at the top so that I could easily attach this. So I'm going to put it up. I can always move it. That is just really sweet. I love the little bell on there. So it looks good with the cover as well. Okay, this is our two-sided paper clip. I'm gonna put a little bit of this fur and make a belly band. I'm just gonna hold back a little bit, put some bells there. 
And then this little paper clip will hold some journaling paper, but it'll also hold some cute little ephemera piece right here. Okay, so I've added our little fur strip and the bells, and I'm liking this fun circle that came with the kit and these words says Christmas story. So that finishes that off. I'm placing this on the side of a page and then I just snug in some journaling paper behind that and I can do the same thing on the other side. So I've just utilized a scrap piece here and another one here for journaling and that's just another good way to use it. So here I'm just mixing some Rustic and Glam by putting this twine around this circular piece of ephemera. I think it looks really good together. And then I'm just going to glue this in place so that it shows through the little window. Now I'm just using some of this beautiful velvet ribbon to put on these tags. And there I am using the Cricut tool again. They're so handy. So I'm just going to cut this and then just put a little spot of glue to hold them together and not tie them at the top. I made two pockets for the inside here. addition to our journal. I think I'm going to put this right in the center of this signature. I like to do that because there's a little bit more room in the center and I am simply going to hot glue this in place. This is the scripture for the front of the book. Our Savior born of flesh and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring to you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And that is Luke 2, 7 through 14. I just love that scripture. I just cannot imagine what went through the shepherds' minds as they stood there and the glory of the Lord shone around them, what that would have looked like and felt like. I just have really tried to imagine that so many times. And then I think it's interesting that there's a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory to God in the highest. So they got to see them as well. I wonder if that's our loved ones who have gone on before us. All right, what I'm going to do is put this right in the front because it just explains the whole nativity. And then I'm going to put some lace around it. And I'm not going to ink this because I'm going to put lace around it. Beautiful lace. And it's the same that I used on the other side over here. So I've loaded this fun, playful pocket with this really pretty poinsettia paper that I haven't used a lot of. I just love it though. And so I can just write on the other side of that. And then this is the copy dyed music sheets from My Porch Prints. 
and see how they've got the nice stains and stuff on them. And then she's got solid sheets in there. And this print is in this digital download. So that's my porch prints if you like it. Super fun. We're just getting this book filled out really nicely. So this makes a nice little belly band here. Sure. Watching any previous videos, you saw this. And I had made this up, but had not finished embellishing it. So, and I'm just kind of toning down the white. So this is just a really super light pressure on this. Pressing in certain areas. like that. So here is this flip up card. It's got a piece of journaling paper in this belly band. I had to keep this nice and smooth so that it can fit down in the pocket. So that completes this tiered pocket. So here it is with the envelope stocked with pieces of ephemera. It's got a journaling piece of paper. This is nice and flat so that it fits down in this bottom area and it just flips up and these little pieces can come out. Isn't that cute? So fun. Okay, that is going to go right here. I'm just going to take this piece of journaling paper out for a minute. And I think I'm going to glue this down and leave a slot here as well. And that will complete all of our ephemera pieces. Thank you for watching.